Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group P match between Niaga and his Wood Elves up against Mongloom and his Necromantic. I can show you the groups here and you can see that Niaga has definitely won this group. The tiebreaker is not touchdown difference, but touchdowns 4 is the primary tiebreaker, so he could lose this game 8-0 and still be top of the group. And uh, for Mongloom, he is unfortunately on 0 points, so he cannot uh, qualify even if he were to win 8-0. So, as Christopher B. so brilliantly put it, this is a completely pointless game. But, you know, it's still, you know, it's for honour, isn't it? And uh, the fun and competition, etc, etc. And it's, you know, it's something to look at and uh, enjoy. So we've got Nuru qualified through the Franco Bowl Road to the World Championship. And Mongloom, and he's French, obviously. Uh, and Mongloom is Spanish and qualified through the Copa PDM. There you go. Yeah, it's Els. Els versus Necro. I think it's a classic uh, matchup. It's funny because Andy Devo, who is one of the foremost experts on Necromantic at Tabletop, he thinks this is a really bad matchup for the Necromantic, whereas I feel like it's bad for the Wood Elves. And I think that's quite interesting that we can have a different take on it, though, of course, he's played lots more. Um, necromantic than I have and also maybe it's to do with the way he plays it rather than uh, you know an objective assessment maybe he he struggles with them against Wood Elves maybe he struggles versus K-Fog with Wood Elves and uh, Purple Goo with Wood Elves <laughs> um, who knows yeah maybe he's played Niagara a lot you know like that's the thing right you just don't know um, but yeah Anyway, let's let's have a look. We've got oh, we've got more block fleshies rather than guard. So that actually is better versus the wood elves, right? See, Devo takes four guard, which makes the necro a bit better versus the bashy teams, but they're a bit worse um, with uh, your bl block are a bit better. Yeah, so guard's a bit better versus the bashy team, but blocks a bit better versus elves. Oh, this is the team. This is the team where he dropped the reroll to get the sure hands. And obviously, sure hands count as the strip ball a little bit. And Niagara's team, we've gone for the leader throw, which is pretty standard. The strip ball dancer, of course. Then a mighty blow dancer, uh, very unstandard. And to do that, he's had to drop a wrestle off a lineman and then the two dodgers as normal. So let's see. Yeah, it's interesting. I think I find it interesting, you know, because like he's obviously played a lot more tabletop um, than me total, and especially with Necro. Yeah, not many people put any many skills in the catches. Oh, well, there's an instant Kaz. Not blocking the allies with his mighty blow is a little bit greedy, isn't it? This is a little bit greedy because it's actually hard for him to make up. Oh, he's just going to blitz. Okay. <laughs> Dub skulls. And then... He rolls into the power, leaves it on the tree. So he wasn't actually ever going to block with that guy in the LOS anyway. So it actually wasn't a bit greedy. <laughs> Yeah, but they've got, they've got like they've got stand firm and sidestep to stop one turns, and they've got you know necros to necros. They've got wolves to like hunt things down on defense, and uh, you know they 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 haven't got to get too far in the opposing half. They've got with his team, he's got four guards. We get to guard on cage corners, so yeah, okay, they can they can cage dive you, but you know it's going to be into an uphill, and they can jam forward pretty well. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. Super interesting. Oh, the officious ref was a stunned wraith. Didn't even notice. Uh, plus, it depends on the pack, right? My, my experience with Necro was the Euroball pack, where they actually got two ghouls and two wolves. Obviously, now with only one ghoul... Uh, though Mongloom has two, with only one ghoul, then yes, it looks a lot worse for them. Two removals. Absolute Dyson. Well, this uh, drive is almost sewn up. <laughs> and not a defenseless fleshy. Will his block have an effect? No. 
The problem with blitzing the fleshy is now you've got two players stuck on that fleshy, right? You could have just blitzed the, uh, the zombie the other side. I wouldn't have minded just blitzing the zombie. Because we're at 3D on a catcher. And removed. Oh, cheerleader wise. Oh wow, Mongloom has the goblin cheerleaders. Fantastic. Oh, extra points for him. And uh, yeah, quite, but two quite nice colour schemes, really. Not orange and this uh, light blue and white. Very nice. A very, a very pretty team for Niagara. Interestingly, um, wait. <laughs> I introduced him as Ni as Nuru, didn't I? Oh my goodness. Um, oh no, I do apologize for the start. I literally highlighted the wrong name on the on the spreadsheet. Because I, his team's called BB Tactics Butterflies, and I thought to myself, isn't it funny that he qualified through Franco Ball, and yet called it, it's not at all, Niagara is Swedish, not French. <laughs> and he qualified from the Blood Bowl Tactics Big Crunch Playoff, not Franco Ball. I do apologise for that. Terrible mistake. I just literally just read new... I'm, I'm like, I'm like... Uh, Oh wow, it has. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that guy in that movie, Anchorman, isn't it? I just, I just read what was on the teleprompter, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, he's actually, yeah, called them all, called them all butterflies. Uh, but these are just boring default names for the uh, necros. Oh, like I don't know why I didn't just look at the players' names. <laughs> but, never mind. I didn't. It's okay, it's sorted now. The KO'd wolf is huge, isn't it? Absolutely massive. Yeah, I guess, so I guess, right, if you're thinking of the, the usual three positional build, then yeah, they are worse versus what else. Because if they snipe one of these... They're lacking a lot of options. But uh, Euroball rules, I quite like them into Wood Elves. Good against the Daka. Good against one turning. But yeah, I guess if usually Necromantic don't get four, four mobile players, then they'll usually be a little bit worse off. Have we got a gaping hole here? We do. Um, and that's exactly where Niagara goes. He's going to make a tight cage, which can be, you know, attacked pretty heavily. This is a little bit too early, really, to do this, because I'd like to just score next turn. Or, you know, be able to score next turn. I think maybe this guy should have just come here, right, to make, like, an actual cage, so that he can only... Like a to screen the cage. I guess he's kind of screened it that that side a little bit. Oh, maybe this is better, but it relies on getting that guy out. as this fella gets the sidestepper on the ball. No, doesn't. Doesn't put the sidestepper on the ball, so this is just twos out for everybody. Like, at least. 
not blitzing with my Ebo. I feel like it was definitely better to just blitz this guy with my Ebo, right, rather than make this block. But, <laughs> having said that, he made the removal anyway. No, tree failed. So yeah, not quite enough pressure from uh, Mongloom last turn. But it was it was interesting this little formation that he made. I quite like that. It just it was reliant on the lineman getting out. Yeah, KOing the wolf. I mean, well, that's that's why I would have blitz with the mighty blow, right? Like I would have. I would have gone for the Mighty Blow Blitz for that, because I feel it's kind of, you know, Mighty Blowing the Wolves is pretty, pretty important, isn't it? Uh oh, the fleshies are becoming relevant. But it's just one more turn so he can roll some dice to keep the stall up. Very easy dice. In fact. Oh, what? Ah, so it was to save the dodge with a ball carrier. And he's got two rerolls, so it makes sense. I would I would have dodged away and blitzed this guy, right? So I didn't run the risk of failing the foul appearance. And have to reroll it, so I'd have just blitzed this guy, which would have saved him the dodge off. Oh, but I guess he's in the way. But he could have also sidestepped if it wasn't a knockdown. Interesting. But yeah, it does mean that just that one hit makes everything pretty safe. Yeah, very, very safe now. You can even put somebody there because there's no wolf to surf him. Amazing. Yeah, he just got roll twos. It's, it's crazy. Isn't it? Almost in stop. Im almost impossible to stop. Or woodies. Or big chichi. How calcium. Woo dolls. Yeah. They just they can't get them to them, can they? Like yeah. To be fair, the thing about necro is the zombies really are terrible, aren't they? So if you lose the positionals, you're going to struggle a lot. But he does have four, and he has two heads. And there we go, perfect eight turn stall. Oh wow, all three KOs come back for the Necro. And the one Wood Elf stays out. So that was pretty unlucky. A one in sixteen, a one in sixteen dicing for a uh, Niagara there. I mean, again, there is uh, absolutely zero stakes on this one. <laughs> Let me reiterate. <laughs> Quick snap. Ooh, will we see a one turn here? Maybe. Now he's got the block block to get him to there and then block there and then blitz up, blitz score this is pretty good it can go through the catcher we could see a one turn here thanks to the quick snap gets the push 3d gets the push he should have handed it off to the um, wolf already right just quietly but gets the pow And he's still got two re-rolls. And he's got sure hands for the pickup. Oh! He's made the catch and he can blitz through this catcher. Man, imagine the wolf block working. Incredible. I mean, it did save him a push. Like, it was actually really good getting the quick snap. The quick snap basically made this, didn't it? And he gets a push. 
and he gets a push so he's got a dodge he re-rolls that to get the pow doesn't get the pow because he's only got one dodge left to, well a dodge and a rush actually and so he had a single re-roll for both rolls and he made it and he got the one turn well there you go incredible play by Mon Gloom you'll love to see it that's nice isn't it what a lovely one turn Juan turn Another quick snap, not that it matters. Oh my goodness. A stun and a Kaz. And looks like we're gonna Oh when we're just blocking the what the tree was that wise honestly with four guys on him and with a wolf I think I would have just uh, I would have just necro blitzed him right that seems better Claw clawing him seems very good by the way he rolled an 8 on his armour <laughs> just quietly 3D is the catcher though which is really good to be fair very narrow here and really has to make this pick up and he only has one guard oh I guess he can just can he just go out of range yeah okay he's out of range completely okay that's pretty nice so now that the narrowness is good in a way right because it's a bit harder to like interfere with this though I've said that and then he's got disconnected so this is definitely a fit your whole team in here kind of turn. I don't like that assist, honestly. I think just blitz him with the uh, just blitz him with the dancer, mighty bow, so you get more stuff through. Okay, he's gonna blitz the wolf. All right, uh, okay, maybe, maybe that's better actually. It does cost you like two players though, right? The the. This assist and punch cost him two players that could have been here, um, cutting the team in half. And as you can see, he hasn't really got many players to do it anymore. So maybe it would have been better to have like another player here, a player here, a player here, and this here, and, you know, something like that. Gets the knockdown on the tree. The twat magnet. And yeah, he can just run over here, can't he? It's an easy escape. Gets the... Ooh, so he doesn't get guard on, guard on opposite corners. Which he could have. I feel like I would have put this wolf in here, right? Because at the moment, you've let the back door open for the 1D. Oh, he hasn't got straight. But still a 1D hit. He's got the... Uh, 4 plus leap for a 1D hit. And... Honestly, the, the wolf there would have just made it safer, right? It would have made it completely safer. I, th I think the wolf in the, in the back was the best was the best play there. Anyway, he survived the most dangerous turn of uh, you know not having the ball completely safe in a cage and now he can just completely cage up guard on the cage corners and uh, oh he can have Venger bus I mean same difference right except he's got the Venger bus 
the wrong way, essentially. But I mean, it's it's on the wrong way. He's he's got all the defense in front, and none of it behind. But I mean, he could just leap behind, right? So I think this is the wrong way around. To an extent, just like just swap the guard, right? Just swap the guard. Again, not that it matters much. It's a <laughs> come on. a wholly irrelevant match, <laughs> but still. No, oh, gets a Kaz, mighty blow on more dancer, best skill ever. Like to be fair, the the like it's probably the most impactful player to give mighty blow to, right? Because that one dancer is gonna make sixteen blocks a game, and your elder is only gonna make like twenty odd blocks a game. So he's making the vast majority of hits on your team. He like you know he should be blitzing every single turn. Um, so yeah, it is a pretty pretty good skill to have. made a gym cage there of not putting his <laughs> girl in the cage but I mean you could almost go for this couldn't you the catcher can come in there no problems then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one shot Like, that was a 3-plus leap in for a 1D is pretty good. But yeah, it wasn't super easy to get round the back for the dancer. in the cage. We are still refusing to uh, to put guard on the cage corners. Again, there's the there's the option of uh, stripper on the back. He probably wants to get the the stripper positioned a bit more aggressively because this like is so open all the time, right? Leaving the back end open all the time. If you can just wangle it so it's a bit wider, so it's a bit less difficult for it to come around the back. No, it's not. I feel like, it, you know, I mean, it couldn't be much further up, right? But it could be where the thrower is. He's had some luck with these 3D fleshy blitzes. What's the foul with the uh, wolf? out of position for the stopping the uh, ball sack. Honestly, uh, Niagara seems completely unconcerned with the ball at this point. I guess it's been that long now, He's you know, he's got to the point of the driveway, you just give up going for it and just screening and then Maybe you you know, if you can't screen on turn eight, you'll go for it. I mean, 
problem is this isn't hemmed in at all. This is this can be a really good swap, right? Really good side swap. He's got the he's got the chain off. I thought he didn't with that wolf. He's doing it with this one. Get to the pal. Oh, I would have. I would have. I don't know, maybe he's moved this. Can you move this guy first? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could have gone there. And then he could have pushed the dancer away. But I guess he's chopping him, isn't he? Which is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you never push him, never chain him off. I'd like this guy to not get punched, but... I guess I would have made everything a bit one over and then tried to chain this guy away. And use this guy as part of the cage. But... This works, doesn't it? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Keeping the dancer on a three plus. What the hell? Why didn't he go in? Well, no, it's the same. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I thought, well, why did he go in there in two and in here in three? When here it's in two, but it wasn't. So yeah, he jumped in for the last ditch ball sack. Which you do see people do with woodies. nice and then the wolf can hit here or not no nope, he just makes the rush and gets the tuddy so 2-1 almost certain victory um, there could be a one turn maybe right maybe versus versus this but very unlikely versus Necro. May need a quick snap or a riot. But it's not over. Don't say it's over. It's a high kick. Wow, okay. The irrelevant injury on the final turn. An absolute classic. And uh, there you go, yeah. Mon Gloom gets the victory. So congratulations to him. And commiserations to Niagara, though of course it wasn't impactful as you can see there is the final table Niagara is top with four touchdowns scored Allen 76 in second with two wins and two touchdowns and uh, Mongloom one win out of three and Dion Lord only one win out of three so uh, he'll probably be a little bit sad the way the way his game versus Allen went but you know as far as the group goes congratulations Niagara and Alan76, Commiserations, Mongloom and Dion Lord. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.